Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 8 in Selenium WebDriver. In this lecture you will learn how to uh, write the advanced XPython and CSS expressions to identify the elements in uh, Selenium WebDriver in Java. So I am going to this website newtools.demoaut.com slash index.php. This is the test website by HP and in here I am going to explain you how you can identify the elements using XPath or other CSS. So the best way or the simplest way to do is just right click on the inspect and then right click on that element and then copy XPath or copy selector to uh, copy the CSS selector. So if I copy that, so this is how that particular uh, copied XPath looks like. So this is pretty fake and I will not recommend this method. This is the shortcut method to create the XPath, but do not use this method. I'm going to explain a simple and robust method to write the XPath expressions as well as CSS expressions. So I want to identify this element and since it has got name, I can use the by dot name, uh, that particular syntax to identify the element. But let us see how you can use the XPath to identify this element. Now for that what you have to do is open the console, that console uh, when you right click and inspect this elements are displayed and uh, to view the console you have to click on this and then click on show console raw since it is already shown it is uh, saying hide console raw which I am not going to do. So in the console uh, you can use this javascript commands like this and over there what you can do is You can use dollar x and then followed by double slashes. This is required for the writing XPath expressions and our XPath expression starts with those double slashes. Then we want to find this input element. So I have put the input tag over there. Then if I hit enter over there, it will give me, it is giving me four input tags because it is finding the four input tags over there in that web page. But I am interested in the username only for that. I am going to take uh, help of uh, this attribute, name attribute and for that what you can do is you can use this square brackets and in there the attribute is name so that's why I have used this add symbol then it's equal to username. So what it means is that find the element whose tag is input and whose attribute is name and its value is username. So just uh, press enter and it is saying that the string is not a valid XPath expression so we have done some mistake over there we have missed one quote single quote over there and you can notice that it is uh, this time around found just single input element and as you can see we have found our desired input box so what I'm gonna do is just dock this window to the right side so that it will be very easy to understand or the, write the XPath expressions. I'm just gonna clear this one. Now, okay, so. To find all the input elements we used this syntax then to find the input element whose name attribute is equal to username we use this syntax. Now sometimes what uh, we need to do is we need to find the elements whose attribute value starts with or contains specific word. Let us say you want to find the input element whose name attribute starts with user then for that you can use this particular function starts with this is the xpath function whose name attribute starts with username so just put comma over there single quote and then close these brackets and as you can see it has found one element or you can also use this one and it has found that function and is uh, found this particular element so it will find all the elements whose name attribute contains this value name attributes value contains user and you can also identify the elements relatively like say if you inspect this element
let us uh, say you want to find out the label for that uh, input element that is username colon so to find that what you can do is you can use this particular syntax the parent td So remember that you need to use this double colons that is the syntax to find the parent element now what we have done is we have found the this input box this parent this is parent is the td so td is found now what i have to do is i have to find the preceding sibling of this td because the text consistent is contained in this td so to find the preceding sibling what you have to do is use this syntax Preceding sibling colon td and you can notice that its value contains username and uh, you can use the cell names get text method to get that value so remember that I have used the parent uh, colon colon td to find the parent of this input box so this is this is the td we have found and then to find the preceding sibling of that we have used this preceding sibling syntax colon colon td and similarly if there was another td over there just after this td we can use following sibling instead of preceding sibling we will use following sibling but since there is no following sibling over there it will return empty right like this since we have used this ing two times as you can see it is returning the empty set and that is how you can use the preceding siblings uh, or the previous sibling to find the adjacent elements in the selenium and also you can use this parent to find the parent of the element now next thing that i'm going to show you is how to find the elements using the like logical operations for example if you want to find out the element whose name attribute is username and whose type attribute is text for that what you have to do is you have to let me delete this first of all so to give the and uh, condition you have to use this syntax and whose type it, uh, attribute is equal to text So you can notice that this is found that input element so similarly you can use multiple attributes to find the element using this and syntax and uh, you can also use the or to find the elements as well so it will identify the, all the elements uh, which either contains this uh, name contains user or uh, whose attribute type contains text now uh, you can also use the negation as well and not most type attribute is not equal to this one oh, sorry instead of it here you have to put it here and just found multiple elements because it is trying to find the elements which doesn't uh, whose type attribute is not equal to text and that's why it has found those many elements so that is how you can use and or nor operators and another thing is that i want to do, uh, explain you is that css selectors now uh, xpath expressions are pretty handy and they can be used to identify the any element so if you are happy with xpath expressions stay, uh, stick to that xpath expressions don't go ahead and learn uh, css expressions but because if uh, you are happy with the xpath they will be i mean uh, they will be able to help you with the identifying any elements you will not need the use of this css uh, selectors but if you are 
just trying to learn it or we want to learn the CSS you can go ahead and watch this particular part of this video so instead of XPath we can also use CSS and the syntax for this is that you don't need to give that X you need to give dollar dollar and then that double slash is also not required then hit enter and then it will find all the input elements so this is CSS selector very simple now to find the element whose attribute is got some value you can use this particular syntax instead of dollar x I am gonna put double dollar then this slash is not required and you don't need the add symbol as well in the CSS rest of this thing remains the same so what it will do is it will find the input element whose name attribute is equal to username similarly if you want to find the element input element whose name attribute contains specific word or the text you can use this syntax and if you want to find the elements whose name attribute starts with something you can use this caret symbol So this is found the element whose name uh, attribute starts with the user. Similarly, if you want to find the element which attribute ends with something, you can use dollar. Since there is no uh, element input element whose name attribute ends with user, it is written empty. But if you use name or me, it will find one element like that. So that is how you can use this XPath and CSS expressions. Once you find the XPath and CSS expression, just copy that expression in the double quotes over there. Go to your Intel issue and then use this by.xpath or by.css selector. And then copy and paste it over there, that XPath expression that you have found. And after that, you can use this any methods on that particular uh, element. I hope you enjoyed this uh, lecture on the advanced XPath and CSS expressions in Selenium. It is very important lecture and um, most of the uh, automation engineers use these XPath expressions or CSS expressions uh, extensively. So better you uh, get grips on your exp writing XPath expressions. Uh, make use of this Google Chrome. Do not use that a shortcut way to copy the XPath or the CSS selector from here because that will not be stable. So if you want to write this table script, you will have to adopt this strategy like uh, write your own XPath expressions using minimal elements and uh, your states, tests will become very robust. I hope you liked this lecture. Just to rewind, we have seen uh, advanced XPath and CSS expressions in this lecture in Selenium Web Travel in Java and more is coming in uh, future lectures. So stay tuned to this channel and thanks for watching this video.